Hey everybody, uh, I just wanted to make this quick tutorial for those of you who are Twitch streamers but don't have the convenience of having a PC. Uh, it's kind of difficult these days because OBS Studio is not completely updated for its multimedia version and so uh, the recent update happened and it allows you to take a browser source and use that as a video source. It, it's kind of difficult to explain so let me just show it to you guys because I finally figured it out. So what we're gonna do is if you already have a Twitch account you can go right over here to twitchalerts.com. You go over there you quick click launch Twitch Alerts. Now I'm already signed in but uh, it should have a little notification that will say do you want to sign in with your Twitch account? You click yes and it'll have set everything up for you. Uh, once you go in you go to alert box and this this link here is the one thing that you are going to save for later so we're gonna copy that and I'm going to launch it so that way there's this box that comes up now what this box does is it shows you the alerts that you have made custom for your stream so I'm gonna test the follow alert and that should come in a couple come up in a couple of seconds and you should hear your notification it's probably gonna sound weird in my headphones because something's up with my audio hopefully it doesn't sound weird in the recording. okay I don't I don't know why that didn't come up there it is. Okay, that's probably because OBS is open and that's why but anyway you have that all set and ready to go so with that said that's what you're gonna do. Now I already have hi, I already have my stream set up, but we're gonna make a new scene. We're gonna make a new scene and we're gonna add everything that we need. So display capture. There you go. We don't need to crop blah de blah de blah. So you got that, now you want this to show up on the thing. You want the notifications to show up even when this is down, right? So we have the link for this already. Whoops. So now that we have this all taken care of, what we want to do is go to add, or you know, you can click the plus button, or you can just right click and add browser source. Now that's going to come up with this, you're going to click OK, or you can name it to whatever this is, and this will come up and as you can tell it's a browser and it's got none of the, the little HTML bars or anything in there that you might want to get rid of in the normal OBS so what you're gonna do is you remember that link that we copied earlier we're gonna get rid of this and we're gonna paste it in here now don't worry if there's nothing that comes up here uh, just leave that as it is you wanna click restart CEF and keep the frame rate at whatever you want I mean it doesn't really matter because you can just go ahead and move things around in here. Now notice this just looks like an empty box, but that's a good thing because that's not going to show up anywhere else. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and test our follow alerts again. And we're going to look at it through OBS. Now just make sure you got everything sized the right way that you want it. It's probably going to come up here in OBS. you go look at that no green no nothing not even when it fades away you see it looks perfect so there you have it and you can work that with the subscription button the donation button I haven't tested the hosting alert so I don't even know how that's gonna work out but that is how you get notifications on your OBS completely simple really easy to do I haven't tested this with night dev I'll do an update video at some point but this is how you do it so be sure to subscribe and follow my stream if you guys are interested in more videos involving my Twitch and or tutorials on how to stream on your Mac. Thanks everybody so much, and I will see you next time.